So if they're not used for the direct purpose of stimulating, your body will use them someplace else. Amino acids, it's like BCAs for adults. Yeah, Ryan, I do think it's just a little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides, which are drugs, are BCAs for adults. Coach Greg, and in today's video, it's on Ryan Homiston. Wait for this one. The guy legit must be subscribed to Michael Hearn. He made a video, it's called, These Are a Game Changer. And I thought, of course, he's going to be talking about NMN, the main ingredient in GO2 Max. But to my surprise, it was about this. It was about peptides. Remember, if you are interested in this, click the link in the description. Code Greg, 10% off. You know you want. It's on the Joe Rogan podcast with Andrew Huberman. Blah, blah, blah. Head over and buy it, but watch this video. Video first. And so apparently Ryan Humiston in 2023 has now heard of peptides. Perhaps he watched Michael Hearn talking about Transcend, saying that peptides are amazing, that you kids, you should get out there and get it. And we're hoping by kids he meant people who are adults. But in case you're not familiar with peptides, replace the word peptide with drug. Most of which are banned performance enhancing drugs by water. You can't use it in competition. Not only that, many are not for human consumption. That means humans, like Coach Greg, I identify as a human. Perhaps you don't, perhaps you're a cat, whatever. But if you're a human, you're not supposed to use it. So perhaps that's a loophole. People who are buying peptides, they're identifying as cats, dogs, mice, rats, and so on. And so that's how they're getting away with it. But if you buy peptides, you're not supposed to actually use them. Perhaps experiment them. Add water to it. See if it turns green or blue. Throw it on the floor. See if it washes better than last time. I don't know. But you're not supposed to use it. And so now that you know that, let's watch this video. I'm sure by this point, you've heard about peptide. peptides. Peptides. Yeah. Yeah, I started using them about 15 years ago. And so it's new to him. And so let's see what he thinks about peptides, aka drugs. Because excessive growth hormone levels have been linked to certain types of cancer. The peptide version does not have this problem. They act as secretagogues, stimulating your body to produce more growth hormone. And with more growth hormone, what can actually happen is increased IGF-1 levels, which have been associated with an earlier death. It can, in fact, in some people, possibly, we don't know for sure, shorten your life dramatically. And so consider this, I am not on peptides. I was, abuse them. I'm also not on growth hormone. And you're thinking, no way, your chest is a bit red. You're probably on chest, tread, growth hormone, and so on. I'm on doctor prescribed HRT. That is it. And I'm taking 140 milligrams a week. Believe me if you want or don't. Do I look like I'm lying to you? And if so, why would I do that? I live in Canada. The laws are different. I can actually take performance enhancing drugs legally. Why would I lie? Now, remember, I abused peptides in the past. Why? Because I wanted to be a professional bodybuilder. I wanted to take advantage of every advantage possible to build the most massive physique possible. Did I care about the side effects? No. Should you? Of course you should. You're not a moron, are you? Just amino acids. So if they're not used for the direct purpose of stimulating, your body will use them someplace else. Amino acids, it's like BCAs for adults. Yeah, Ryan, I do think it's just a little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides, which are drugs, are BCAs for adults. Yay, I said it, finally! <laughs> yeah, Ryan, I think it's a little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides, aka drugs, are like... <sighs> to suggest that peptides are amino acids... BCAs. Little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides are just... Little bit of a stretch to suggest that peptides are just... Think of boy. BCAs. Boy. Boy. Think B the whole time. Okay. Yeah, Ryan, I do think it's a little bit of a stretch to think that peptides are just boy. I only recently started paying attention to peptides since Derek exposed the liver king and showed that list of things he was taking. Ryan Humiston, who you're going to advise, he has over a million followers. He learned about peptides for the first time after watching Derek talk about liver king's long list of supplements that he was taking. I'm not saying that Ryan Humiston doesn't have good advice, but if he just recently discovered this and he didn't know it was around until he watched a Derek video, is that really who you want to learn your advice on peptides from? 
Or would you prefer to listen to someone who took them in abusive doses over 15 years ago and who has been researching this for years? But I'm telling you, there are pros and cons to everything. And so I don't want you to watch his video and assume peptides are the next best thing. Everyone should take them, especially when there are alternatives that are for human consumption that are not banned by WADA that you can use in sporting competition that aren't going to cause all these negative side effects. What? NMN in Geo2 Max. Oh, well, you don't want to believe me. Well, ask other YouTubers that you do in fact respect and get them to make videos on it. Say, hey, could you please do a video on NMN? Coach Greg says it's amazing. I don't believe him. Could you explain it? Double blind placebo controlled studies and not just in couch potatoes in elite athletes as well. And so please do your research or perhaps start by watching the Joe Rogan podcast, episode 1958, the final 16 and a half minutes featuring Andrew Huberman. You can hear them explain it. Starting off with growth hormone secretagogues. And these fall into two categories. You got your ghrelin agonists and your GHRH analogs. And so essentially all these I've used for months and or years. And here's some of the negative drawbacks. So you're going to be injecting yourself with an insulin syringe multiple times a day. These things need to be kept in the fridge. They have to be cold. You need access to a cold environment. Environment. I used to carry around a cooler with me. Going to the gym, to work, traveling around, always have to keep it cool. You have to swab your skin, poke yourself multiple times a day. It gets annoying really fast. It can then make you uncomfortably hungry and lightheaded. You kind of feel like you're going hypo. You don't feel good. You feel uneasy, a little nauseous, not a great feeling. And remember, you're doing this multiple times per day. 54 original parallel randomized placebo controlled trials with over 3,400 participants. People with a growth hormone deficit had a statistically significant fatter, less muscled and overall lower quality life. He's speaking about a GH deficient person, someone with not enough GH in their bodies. How many of you who watch Ryan Humiston's video or my video right now are deficient in GH? Almost no one. And so you're thinking, oh, he just showed a study that says it's better to have higher growth hormone levels. Well, yeah, to a point, if your GH is too low, then it helps to have more. But if you're already like 99 point whatever percent of the population already have enough growth hormone in your body, you don't need more. And higher growth hormone levels, which lead to higher IGF-1 levels, have been shown at least by my research to suggest that you won't live as long. And so think of it like this. You can live a very long life with lower IGF-1 levels. Let's call it 100 years. But perhaps you have a little bit less muscle, a little bit more fat. Or you could live perhaps 20 years less, but with lower body fat levels and more muscle. And so take your pick. Which you want? Do you want to have a long life that you're still healthy or a shorter life where you have higher growth hormone levels? And so my opinion, it's not worth the risk. And if it was, I would be doing it right now. Remember, peptides are not cheap. And money for me, no object. If I thought it could add one month to my life, I'm doing it. I don't care. And so notice I'm not taking them. And so in case you're wondering, my growth hormone levels is 0.17. I got it tested recently and normal is under three. And so it's 17 times under what's recommended at the top. And so even with my levels at 0.17, notice I'm not taking peptides, not taking growth hormone, not taking MK677, not taking anything. But I, in fact, taking one supplement that I really do believe in, Geo2 Max. The main ingredient is NMN. It's been shown to ward off age-related illnesses, to decrease blood pressure, cholesterol, improve your overall sense of well-being, increase energy levels, allow you to burn more calories than before, boost your NEAT, BMR. Think of it. So we have these two different categories of growth hormone stimulating peptides that work in very different ways. The question is, which one should you use? In case you've ever watched a Coach Greg video, how many times have you heard me talk about ghrelin and leptin? Ghrelin makes you hungrier. And so for the most part, the number one reason diets fail is because of hunger. You're hungry and you want to eat. And why are you hungry? Because ghrelin is released. And so you're going to be injecting yourself with something that's going to increase ghrelin. Is that what you want? For the most part, most people, not everyone, some are trying to bulk, but I would say 95% of the world is not trying to increase body fat levels. And in fact, it's quite the opposite. You'd rather have more leptin. Imagine increased satiety, feeling full. To get these things, you don't even need a pill. You don't need an injection. 
What you do need is my freaking cookbook. You knew it. Well, this is filled with low calorie, high protein, high fiber, high volume filling meals for the big eater. Get the freaking cookbook. Click the link in the description. And so imagine combining the cookbook with Geo2max NMN, having more energy, having more ability to do cardio, burn off more calories while eating less calories. It's calories in, calories out. If you burn off more calories than you consume, you're going to lose weight. It's inevitable. You can't break the laws of thermodynamics. Leave it's not in this universe unless you're Bart K. MK677. My muscles are always fuller and rounder. It doesn't come without side effects. It increases your appetite. And I can tell you from my own experience and the hundreds of people I coach who took MK677 that it makes you very hungry. And oftentimes it causes you to be more lethargic. You have less energy. You're lazing around, sitting on the couch. You don't want to move as much. And so it, in fact, does the opposite of boost your metabolism. It slows your body down. The second major thing I've noticed is the quality of my sleep. I've noticed my HRV score is higher. Pair that with the mouth taping I've been doing, my sleep has been phenomenal. For me, it was a nightmare. It made my sleep worse. And also what he doesn't say in this video, it causes bloating and for you to retain a lot of water weight. And so competitive bodybuilders, bikini models and so on, of which I've coached to take these things, we had to remove it from their contest prep diet. Very rare that I could coach an athlete who took this while able to maintain their diet. Dieting, it's hard enough. And to add on the fact that you're even hungrier, it's not something I'd recommend. For the women out there, how many of you are looking to be bloated or to look more bulky? And for the guys, how many of you would want to have a more shredded lean physique versus a more bulky bloated physique? And so yeah, MK677, not saying it doesn't work, not saying it can't help to build muscle, not saying it can't increase GH levels. But what I'm saying is, is it worth the side effects? There's something new that I'm excited about. I'm gonna share it with you. It's like growing up, if I had an older brother and he took me under his wing and let me borrow a few of his slammers and showed me the ropes, that's what I want this to be. And so nothing wrong with Ryan sharing his opinion on this, saying, hey, I'm excited about this. I'm sharing you what I think. However, I do think it's important to show both sides of the story, the pros as well as the cons. And I think that there's more pros shown in this video than the cons. And so I wanted to make a video to even up the score. Perhaps you watched the video and all of you want peptides now. I'm saying maybe Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Please don't just watch one video from one guy who recently watched a Derek video and did a bit of research. You owe it to yourself to be proactive and watch a hundred videos. Don't just watch his and mine, watch everyone's videos and read the science. TPC 157, a synthetic version of a naturally occurring protein found in the stomach. TB 500, a synthetic version of a naturally occurring peptide. Thymosin beta 4, anti-inflammatory, improves wound healing. I have to say they are peptides that can work. They can help speed injuries and I don't see tremendous drawbacks. I don't see negative side effects from these aside from having to inject them and so of all the peptides he listed if i had to suggest any that you would speak to your doctor about whether or not you should take it remember speak to your doctor don't just watch my or his video we're not doctors we're not prescribing this we're not telling you to go and take it in fact we're cautioning you never break the law don't do this without the advice and consent from your doctor but i would suggest that tb500 bpc157 be the most likely peptide that you may in fact want to consider if your doctor approves it Remember, if your doctor approves it. Technically, you can Google and find your peptide site and buy as many as you want because they're labeled research chemicals. And so although you can type a peptide in the internet and go and buy it, you're not supposed to. It's a loophole and no one knows, including Chad GPT, why that's the case. I don't know, I can't tell you why, but what I can tell you is you should not be injecting things that you buy that are not for human consumption. I have a nurse practitioner in the family so we can draw blood and do labs whenever we want and she can advise me on what to take, but even that, in terms of the law, technically, probably frowned upon. My sister Christine, of which you know has stage four cancer, she had a break from chemo for 10 months. She was doing really good, but again, she's on chemo right now. We're hoping, wishing, and praying that she can get through chemo again. But despite the fact that her and my twin's wife are nurses, I wouldn't go and buy peptides from the internet and use them just because I have them at my disposal. Remember, go to your doctor. When you buy something on the internet, you can't guarantee that you're getting what you're supposed to getting. And so I 
I don't want to minimize this, but I also respect the fact that Ryan can make any video he wants and he can explain it in the style that he likes. I'm simply giving a different opinion, different than his. He has the right to make this video. He's excited about peptides. He loves them and he can do the video if he wants. Me, on the other hand, I've used and abused these things, coached hundreds of athletes who've also used them. And so I've seen both sides of the story. Lastly, let me give you a little update on semaglutide because I made a whole video about it. So I'm not going to run through the specifics of it, but it works too well. These can, of course, help you to lose weight. But remember, these are for people who are obese, perhaps morbidly obese. They're not for people who are shredded, trying to get single digit body fat. Ryan has a physique better than 99.99% of the population. He doesn't need Ozempic. Ozempic can quite literally lead to muscle loss. If you look at the studies of which Ryan has in fact done, a lot of the weight loss, close to 50% was lean body tissue. And so sure, you lose a lot of weight, perhaps 20% of your body weight. But imagine if nearly half of that was muscles. Is that what you want? And while taking these drugs, semi-glutides and so on, oftentimes you'll feel nauseous. You won't have as much energy. You won't feel as good. And so is it really something that you want? Oh, and did I mention can cost a thousand dollars a month? And once you go off the drug, your hunger comes back with a vengeance and you will regain all the weight and oftentimes more. And so remember, peptides are drugs. If you decide to take these, do so with the advice and consent from your doctor. Don't just watch one video from one person and say, wow, I want this. Watch several hundreds of videos. And of course, if you're interested in harder than last time supplements, we don't just have GO2 Max. We have Acti Builder, Creatine, Protein Bars. There's so many, can't list them all. Also have a clothing line, hoodies, jogging pants, track pants, shirts, all that stuff. Head over to the website, the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team that circle diet book, you know, my life's work explaining exactly how to lose weight and keep it off for the rest of your life. That's what you want. Head over to the website. If you got no money, free diet and training program, over 50 pages, head over there right now. You can get it. First and last name, email address. Voila, you have it. Don't forget, watch the bloops, subscribe, click that bell button, comment for the algorithm, like the video if you liked it. Helps so much. Continue watching my channel. Thanks for your support. And until next time, I am out.